Previously in Octopath Traveler 2, Patricia and Oswald helped Regulus find the parts for an astronomical telescope. In Kind Creek, Oswald investigated his house and study, concluding that Harvey stole his research. He also discovered that Guard Captain Sandvar was in cahoots with Harvey. After being Stenvar, Oswald interrogated him for Harvey's whereabouts and burned his money. Okay, time to start robbing Tropu Hopu. Let's see. This guy has a, a quest item, actually. And, I get, and they're all uh, rated at level 10 for some reason. You know, this guy is actually pretty strong. A human islander who was saved from drowning by a beastling. The two of them have drunk together on the beach every night since. Their verbal communication may be limited, but her smiles are eloquent enough. Nourishing Nut. A month white space historian who has come to the island to investigate its many mysterious ruins. She is a firm believer in the importance of fieldwork, but does not yet understand how dangerous the wilderness can be. Energizing Palm. Dreamy Flower. An old man who moved from the Crestlands. After long years in the mountains, Island life is fresh and wonderful to him. He spends his day roaming the beaches and inspecting the various things that wash up there. Free pearl? Hmm. Do I need multiple pearls for that quest? Probably. A woman who makes her living free uh, tra diving for shellfish and other seafood. Her exceptional lung power lets her dive deeper than any of her peers, but not her predecessor. She strives daily to attain the depths they reach. Rare stone. Boy of sea colored eyes and a mysterious intuitive feel for how the weather and waves will change. Even the most experienced sailors cannot match the accuracy of his predictions, and he's held in great respect by all whose lives depend on the sea. Inspiriting Plum Basket. A sailor with a wife and child who values time with his family over any amount of money. Because the island is a midpoint for shipping between two, the two continents, serving on a long distance vessel brings higher wages, but he only works on ships that stay close to home. Hand axe. A girl who was always practicing her singing. Some years ago, she saw a singer perform on, in the Flowing Theater, and was so captivated that her dream uh, ever since has been to perform on the same stage. Adults laugh at her, but she is so serious that she has not skipped a single day of practice since. Interesting. Undeniable allure. A woman involved in construction in Walcro. She has come to Toha to see the Flowing Theater, which is unique in all the world. As a fan of the dramatic arts, she hopes one day to design and build a playhouse herself. Herb of Clarity. A man who has worked as the director's assistant for some time. The two of them have an almost uncanny bond and can communicate with the briefest of glances. He's secretly involved with one of the theater's mid career actresses and plans to marry her as soon as he is promoted to director. Okay, in the theater area, you can actually go under here in order to get a chest here. Inspiriting Plum. A woman in the throes of grief after the death of her beloved cat. Every day she goes to the places they used to love and broods over memories of their time together. Her healing process evidently has a long way to go. Fool's Leaf. The leader of the Islanders. He plays a significant role in growing Tropu Hopu from a tiny village to a bustling town and hopes to make it to the center of a fully developed Totoha next. Discount the end. Okay, I'm in the East Shipyard. Empowering Lychee. Yeah, so if I bring Particio, there should be a quest here. A woman who can often be seen in town pausing for rest. She is actually a free, a retired free diver who still holds the record for the deepest dive. She never boasts about this, but most of the townsfolk know and respect her greatly for it. New equipment. A craftsman who makes sailing equipment. He worries about his niece who works as a shipbuilder but keeps her colleagues at arm's length. He has always struggled with interpersonal relationships himself and knows how difficult this can make life. Hmm. Hidden items. Vivid Jewel. Look at that. Guess this area is a shipyard. How dare you try to pawn off that miserable vessel on me? What? I assure you, sir. That wretch is the legendary shipwright's apprentice? Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. You have my sincerest apologies, sir. I had no idea. And that ridiculous sum, she asked. Does she not even know the market value of a ship? You have the right of it, sir. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Bah. 
This has been a colossal waste of my time. I am furious. Furious! Good day, sir. Uh, wait! Please! The apprentice of a legendary shipwright, eh? My merchant's nose is tickling. It's the Santa Commerce. Turn around and leave. You won't find anything here but an incomplete ship. <laughs> Lucky for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Excuse me? The name's Particio. I'm a merchant from that big old western con. Mind if I take a gander at your work? This ship is not for sale. Woo -wee. This is what that rich fellow was complaining about, costing an arm and a leg. He asked me my price, so I told him. Nothing more to it. Well, how much is this here tub? I'm mighty curious myself now. A hundred thousand leaves. But I already said it wasn't for sale. If you have a problem with that, you can just go home. So that's the miserable vessel, huh? Half finished and left high and dry for a while by the looks of it. <laughs> My merchant sense is tingling. This here ship's a must buy. 100,000, huh? I've got enough capital on me to buy it if I wanted to. Oh, so this dialogue actually checks how much you have on you. All that's left is to convince that shipwright to sail. I wonder if having a discount NPC will help. A shipwright who inherited her grandfather's shipyard. Her parents are both traveling scholars, so she spent most of her young life around her grandfather. She grew conceited after mastering the fundamentals of shipbuilding at 14, but has since been humbled by the realization that her grandfather was truly a master of his craft. A hundred K, unfinished vessel. Yup, I got a s uh, discount. A hundred thousand leaves? Wait, does this mean... You betcha. I want to buy that ship of yours. I get it now. You're just another one of them. Huh? You only want it because you heard the rumors, right? That my vessel is the last work of my master, the legendary shipwright. Sorry to disappoint you, but it wasn't my master who designed this ship. It was me. Uh, your point? I'm trying to tell you that it's worthless, unsaleable, just the brainchild of a mere disciple. Everyone I've told that to has, to date, immediately stomped off in a huff. Well, I don't much care who designed your ship, ma'am. Truth is, I fell in love the second I saw it. Even though she's incomplete? You're no shipwright. You've got no reason to appreciate her. <laughs> you got me dead to rights. I couldn't tell stem from stern. But I know a deal when I smell one. And my merchant's intuition is hollering at me to buy, buy, buy. You're willing to gamble that much money on a mere hunch? When I was just a chickadee, I practiced my appraisal skills by watching silversmiths day in and day out. 
I learned how to recognize well-maintained tools despite the patina of wear and tear. How to see the calluses on artisans' hands is proof of their dedication and talent. I can see the same spirit and skill in you, man. You're a first-class artisan, or my name ain't Partitio. That's why I'm sure that any tub you make is going to turn out sensational. You're the first person who's ever complimented these shop-worn hands of mine. Well, they say a true masterwork is imbued with the spirit, a voice. Can you hear it now? I'm raring to gallop across the ocean waves faster than a frisky stallion. That's what your vessel shall. So please, sell me this fine ship of yours. No. I already told you, it isn't for sale. Oh, shucks. Not yet, anyway. Mind waiting until I've made it something worth selling? Huh? From here on out, I'm going to work like a woman possessed to finish this ship. It'll take some time, of course. Will you wait for me? You bet your hat I will. Then it's settled. I'll use this money to buy the materials I need and hire a team of skilled shipwrights to assist me. I never thought I'd see the day I could finally set out to complete her. My master praised me for the first time when I showed him the blueprints I drew up for this ship. He told me, now I can finally retire with my head held high. He must have cared deeply for you. Building this was the final major job he set out to do. But he collapsed soon after we finished the hull. After that, our financiers scattered like a swarm of little spiders. They mumbled platitudes, like the future is steamships, as they went. The truth is, they didn't think a mere apprentice's ships would sell. My master's other apprentices started slipping away soon, too. One after the other. It was ridiculous. Infuriating. Soon, I just gave up making ships altogether. Well, once people get a whiff of this beauty, the investors will stampede back here like a herd of cattle. I hope so. But even if they don't, I'll keep on practicing my craft. There are people out there who will appreciate me and my works for what they are. Like you, Particio. Now then, all that's left is to give her hull a fresh coat of paint and sew a sigil into her sails. Any particular requests? Choose ship color, choose sail symbol. Hmm. No symbol, sun emblem, octopus. Trying to see God, hmm. Choose ship color. Unpainted. Black, red, blue. Hmm. Red. Place order. Probably a permanent one, but okay, this, sh this should be fine. Is this what you want? 
Ship color red, sail symbol octopus. Yes. Oh, that's perfect. There, she's all finished. Oh, she's even more beautiful than I dreamed she'd be. She's yours now, Particio. Go on, give her a name. Uh, a name, huh? Let me see. Do I actually get the pick? From this day forward, I dub her the Grand Terry. Wh it wh what? Well, she may be my ship, but she's got your soul. That's why I gave her your name, Terry. Here's hoping she's the first of many of her kind. This is a first for me. I'm not really sure what to say. Go and cast off already, you rogue. Let her see the world. You got it. Thanks, Terry. I'll be sure to treat her right. You now take your own boat from Anchorage's the realm over. Board your vessel and cross the ocean at your leisure. Embark on an adventure of the sea. You may even find uncharted islands and discover new creatures. So it's Tropo Hopu route. Okay. But the sea is very dangerous. Please take me back. Once I'm a little stronger, I'll give it a shot. Time to clean up the filth. What the heck? Oh dear. Why the heck is there a shadow creature? Holy light, illuminate the darkness. My turn. I am scared, and I should probably run. Hmm. This is a level eleven area. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is happening? Oh, okay, I killed it, but still, that was scary. The hell? The darkness. It was just supposed to be a regular place. Yeah, I'm at Beasting Bay Anchorage, where there are actually encounters. Huh. I can still use a world map here just to go to the town immediately. I bought the ticket, but... Any particular request? Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. That means... Uh, uh... Is... Okay, so now I just wasted money. Does that mean I can steal it again? Yeah, I can. I see. Well, I'm gonna reload that. I'm not gonna bust 20,000 on a cosmetics. Great news. I've sold on the theme of our next performance. Bell. I'm making on-stage conflict so real and riveting, it leaves the audience absolutely speechless. So I need actors who really know how to brawl. None of this polite stage fighting nonsense. What level do I need to be? Where am I going to find talent like that? Okay, looks like the idea is that I can only use combat, t uh, uh, combat type things on him. But uh, 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 combat type path actions. Unfortunately, he's rank 7, so that's going to be too hard for now. Okay, this guy's blocking something important, so let's knock him out without a fight. Fool. Free Pearl. That's a quest item. Skull Helm. Excuse me, have you seen any pearls around here? See, I had a necklace, but the thread broke into the pearls scary everywhere. I tried guarding them myself, but I'm a few short. Please, you have to help me. If you see any pearls, bring them to me. Free Pearl times four. Wait, there are four. Oh shoot, I, I thought I only found three, but I guess there was one more that m must have slipped my mind. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so two were from stealing, one was from fighting a hit one of those hidden item events, 
And then one more from the chest that was being blocked off. One, two, three. Yep, that's all of them. Thank you. I'm in your chest, friend. Now I can finally give her this necklace. I've been meaning to propose to my sweetheart, you see, so I worked real hard by this for her. Say, why don't you join me? You made this possible after all, so I want you to be there. Come what may. What do you want to talk to me about? Well, I wanted to give you this necklace, and, um... I uh, wanted to ask, would you, uh, marry me, please? What a beautiful necklace. I can't imagine it was cheap. You worked really hard to buy this, didn't you? Well, lol, but for you, I'd gladly do it all over again. Thank you, but from now on, we'll be working hard together, as a team. Wait, does that mean... Yes, I'd be happy to be your wife. Wahoo! I couldn't have done it without you, friend. I'll never forget this, promise. Cupid's bow empowering Light Chi. Okay, broke into the cat lady's house. Kate Powder. It's not up two of each. That damn slugger, delay again. He's got skill, but skill's worth it so there ain't no fish left to catch. I wish he'd just wake up in, on time. Maybe he ain't getting enough sleep, but that ain't, ain't my problem. Late riser, so I have to knock someone out of Casty? Okay, I have to challenge him with Hikari. Apparently this has to happen during the day, not night. So let's just make sure it's as early as possible and go after him. Raise your weapon. Please don't hit too hard. On your guard. Now it begins. <laughs> too slow. My turn. Hmm. My blade sings for the pride of Ku. You still have much to learn. No. You helped him get to sleep, did ye? You? you have my links. I was at the end of my rope trying to figure out what to do. Here's hoping it's enough to get him out of bed on time. You leave the rest to me. I'll make sure he gets a home all right. He gets home all right. Ah. Almost time to cast off. Boss. Well, well. Look who finally rolled out of bed in time. I got plenty of sleep last night, so I'm ready to go. It seems I need more sleep than the average bear. Which is why I need to get to bed as soon as we return to port from now on. But that leaves you with no time for yourself. Nonsense, I love being on the ocean. I have lots of time to stare out the waves between halls. Hey, you're a real man of the sea, aren't you? Well, I'm glad we could figure this out. All, and it's all next to you, traveler. Slippery nut and some money. I told Gil I'd find words for the song he composed, but... Inspiration hasn't struck me just yet. But I'm sure I'll find the words eventually. I just have to keep going until I do. Now then, this town looks like a fine place to stop on my journey. Lend me your strength. Huh? <sighs> well, I'll be. Not even Tansy can budget. This is all your fault for wanting to take a shortcut, Tansy. We wouldn't be in a rush if you hadn't overslept, Rico. We were already pressed for time because the ship was late, and now this thing won't budge. Say, Koda, if pushing doesn't work, why don't we pull? Let's give it a try! Wait! 
neat! <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing? Sorry! <laughs> Improvisation! I love it! That's the true spirit of comedy. How can you be so calm, boss? Everyone will laugh at us if we perform without our wagon and props. Then I'll consider it a success. Not even gold shines brighter than a smile. Come on, there's gotta be something we can do. Oh, think, think. Oh, goddess, dear goddess. Pardon me, but I know a way to get your wagon moving again. R really? Are you from around here? No, I'm just a traveler. Would you happen to have a sturdy stick lying around? Hmm. Rico, Coda, could you help this woman find what she needs? Will this do? You can't be serious! That's Coda's flute! I see. Just wait right here then. I'll go find one. What a strange place. I think this town is wonderful. Everyone's got a spring in their step. If I had been raised here, perhaps I would have grown to a decent adult. Filthy towns corrupt their people to the core. That's not true. I think you're more than decent, Rone. You're strong and kind. To tell the truth, I want to be more like you, a proper city lady. Thank you. I'm sure not even the filthiest city could have dulled your shine. Uh, to live is improvised. What will be, will be. I'm so sorry, sorry we dragged into this. What do we do? What do we do? You, you can't use my flute. We need it for a show. Uh, I can't just steal it. I have to go to the night time. Wooden sword. It looks like you're in quite the bind. If this sword can help, please take it. This ought to do a trick. I have to get back and help those folks. Sorry, kid, will you mind helping us out? If you find a strong stick of sorts out there, we might be, we, we much obliged. Yes, wooden sword. Now, if we just put this stick right here, and... Up you go! We did it! Oh my goddess! I don't know who you are, kid, but we owe you one. <laughs> don't mention it. I learned a lot playing in the mud growing up. <sighs> You're stronger than you look. What's your name? Agnia. Agnia Bristarni. Bristarni? Well, in any case... We owe you a debt of gratitude, Agnia. We're a roaming band of entertainers. We call ourselves Giselle's Traveling Troop. Whoa! That dove appeared out of thin air! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. In my eyes. Not even the shine of gold compares to that of a smile. That's why the girls and I travel the world, hoping to make it shine. Bringing smiles to every corner of the realm. That's our motto. How wonderful! I'm a dancer. I'm on a journey to become a star. 
That's fantastic! Right, Rico? Coda? You're a woman with dreams, Agnia. A star is someone who illuminates people's lives. She makes them smile in the best and worst of times. She's there, come rain or shine. It's a feat that only those who keep getting up on stage can achieve. Yes, ma'am. Boss, it's almost time for rehearsal. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? I hope we meet again someday, my dear dreamer. We'll be putting on a show later. If you have time, why don't you come see it? I promise it'll make you smile. I can't even imagine what sort of show brings smiles to every corner of the realm. I could learn a thing or two from them. I better hurry. Wouldn't want to miss it. How far is your father back home, Agnia? He's doing just fine, thanks. I see, that's good to hear. Papa's a tailor. And my sister Paula is taking to helping him out at the shop these days. I'm sure your father misses you dearly. Yeah, this is the first time I've been away from him, but... When I, when I become a star, I'm going to wear the dresses he makes. I have a feeling that that will bring a smile to Papa's face. I have no doubt that that will, Agnia. Eh, thanks, Hikari. My fault. I should have been keeping an eye out. I guess we should start looking. Oh, Agnia. Is something wrong? What happened to your show? We have a runaway. A runaway? You mean your dove? Don't worry, I'll help you find it. No, it's not the dove. It's boss. But what? What do you mean? Sometimes her nerves get to her before a show. But we have to bring her back. We can't perform without our leading lady. <sighs> oh, goddess. Let me help. I don't quite understand why she's run away, but... We have to find her. For the audience's sake. Thank you, Agnia. Thank you! Inquire? A young performer in Giselle's traveling troupe. Her impressive acting, storytelling, and slates of hand make her an, an indispensable member of the group. She grew up with Koda, so the two are not only partners upon the stage, but best friends as well. Thank you. A young performer in G Giselle's traveling troupe and a skilled flutist. She and her partner Rico are always in perfect harmony. Their comedic dialogue set to music is one of the group's most popular performances. That was very helpful. D the director of Giselle's traveling troupe, known for her physical strength. She provides support for the group and is in charge of keeping the eccentric performers in line. Her lover passed away and now she prays to a mysterious goddess whenever something happens. That was very helpful. <sighs> Giselle, there you are. Wow. If it isn't the dreamer. Your troop said you ran away. Did something happen? It all disappeared. 
Every line I was supposed to say just vanished. My mind went completely blank during rehearsal. Imagine if that happened in a real performance. It's happened before, and every time, I just ran away. I'm not meant for the stage anymore. My life as a performer is over. Giselle... But what about your audience? They've been looking forward to your show. I envy the sea. It has no worries, it feels no pain. It must be nice, not being swayed by anyone. Sometimes I wish I could just sink to the bottom of the ocean. And rest there peacefully, like a seashell. <laughs> Allergic Zell. The leader of a group of traveling performers. She plays the lead role in their productions and is known for her theatrical and amusing mannerisms upon the stage. She and her friends travel the realm with their wagon of stage equipment in tow. Thank you. Cleavin, too. You're actually really strong. Raise physical attack with the target for three to five turns. Dang, maybe I should. If I get a chance to recruit her after Agnes' story, that'd be nice. But let's just hope she's still rank 5 by then. Giselle, you said you wanted to be a seashell, right? Hmm. But you can't. You can't just go giving up like that. Giving up? Life ain't always easy. Everybody knows that. Making people smile? That's why you and I live and breathe. <sighs> Agnea. Oh! What happened to your feet? They've got calluses all over. Don't tell me. You got all those from dancing? I can't imagine how much that hurt. And at your tender age... These are nothing. They were worth it to bring smiles to people's faces. <sighs> so chin up, Giselle. Even if you forget your lands, you just learn them again. Believe in yourself. You can do anything you set your mind to. is someone who illuminates people's lives, right? So even if you stumble, you just have to get back on your feet. Hmm. Just get back on your feet, huh? <sighs> it's high time you came out of your shell, Giselle. Besides, you're not a seashell. You're a shiny pearl. And I think the world could use your radiance. Agnea. You're right. I have to get back on my feet. That's the spirit. Now let's go. Alright. The townsperson will return afterwards. Agnia, can I see your legs for a moment? Oh, of course. I thought this might be the case. You've been putting far too much strain on them. You need to take proper care of your legs. They carry you everywhere, after all. You're right. Let me apply some balm to help them heal. Thank you, Cassie. Always be in tip-top shape for dancing with you around. While journeying across the land with our trusty wagon, we arrived here on Tropu Hopu. We've come to shine upon the flowers in your hearts 
that they may bloom into smiles. We are Giselle's traveling troop, bringing smiles to every corner of the realm. I can't thank you enough, Egnia. You helped us get our wagon out of the mud and even helped Boss find her courage again. <sighs> I'm sorry. I got worked up, so... I might have gotten a little carried away. You don't need to apologize. We're grateful to you. She puts on quite the show, doesn't she? She sure does. Boss's bad habit of running away had our troop constantly on the move. But when she stands upon that stage, she shines brighter than anyone. What sort of spell did you cast on her, Agnia? I've never seen her this radiant before. Praise be the goddess for this day. Thank you, thank you. It warms my heart to see you all smile like this. Now then, there's someone I'd like to introduce to you all. I owe a great deal to her for setting me on the right path. Please welcome Agnia, the traveling dancer. Me? That's your cue. Show us a dance, will you? <laughs> if you insist. Watch me shine. I want to thank everyone for our successful show tonight, and Agnia for touching my heart. Your heart? I can say without a doubt that you'll bring happiness to people the world over. D do you really think so? I agree. You're going to be a star someday. Speaking of stars... Reminds me of Dolcinea! <sighs> <laughs> I think Agnia here can outshine even that superstar. You've got a real talent for making people smile. I... I don't know what to say. But we won't go down without a fight. We're going to keep practicing. Two, for the Grand Gala! The Grand Gala? It's the greatest festival on the Eastern Continent! Entertainers and dancers from all across the realm gather there! Standing upon that stage is the greatest honor there is for performers like us! Wow, that sounds like a dream come true! Well, my mind's made up. I'm going to that gala. You too, Agnia? I just have a feeling... ...that I need to be there if I'm going to be a star. Which is why I have to go. Woohoo! I remember now why your name sounds so familiar. You've got the same last name as Kwani Bristarni. 
the star from the west. You knew my mother? I see. So you're her daughter. I heard about her when I went to the town of Sai in the west for a show. They said she danced there about 20 years ago. She was well loved by everyone, just like you. I had no idea. I think I'd like to see this town for myself. I might be able to learn something about my mother there. There's still time before the gala this year. It might not be a bad idea to pay that place a visit. I believe I will. Thank you, Giselle. Acnea, you gave me more courage than I've ever had before. But I haven't been able to give anything to you in return. Giselle... That's not true. You've all given me so much. Okay, so this changes the lyrics. View of a friendship, the value of a smile, a goal we're fighting for. That's so? Then... I'm happy. Good luck on your journey, Agnia. No matter what happens, keep smiling. If you do, happiness is sure to find you. Those are beautiful words. Would you mind if I use them in a song? <laughs> It'd be my honor. Like this is goodbye for now, Agnia. May the goddess be with you. See you. Safe travels, everyone. I'll see you at the Grand Gala. I look forward to it already. Just please don't run away this time, boss. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. And even if I stumble, I just have to get back on my feet. Right, Agnia? <laughs> right. Agnia has set her sights on a new goal. Performing at the Grand Gala. She believes dancing upon the stage there will lead her to stardom. Her fateful meeting with Giselle's traveling troop provides her with a verse to the Song of Hope. But before the gala, she decides to visit the town her mother once danced in. Agnia the Dancer Chapter 3 End Maybe this relates to that journal we found. Former companion returns. Hmm. -hmm. Hey, Aggie, I just thought of a great phrase. Oh, really? Do tell. Every day I'm dying for something tasty to eat. That's, then what should appear but meat, meat, meat? Is that for one of Giselle's place? Heh, <laughs> nope, it's for the Song of Hope. Perfect fit, right? Yeah, I can feel your spirit in the words, Ochet. My tummy's empty. Too much thinking makes me hungry. Say, why don't you have some jerky? I got some from the townsfolk earlier. Thanks, you really do bring smiles to people's faces. Okay, I'm just, since there's no boss for for that chapter, I'm just gonna go look for some of these optional dungeons that are kind of low level right now. Starfall Spring, level 15. Ball of Sleeping Dust. Shadow Soul Stone. Wakeful Stone.
6,000. Since the dangers are overwhelming, do you want to proceed? Yes. I ask, you answer. Simple. Mirage. Dodging ability. That's gonna be trouble. Study elephant. It's my turn now. Precise shot. There. Well now. Hmm. I extend a helping hand. Okay, palm. Pinch of this, not my face, Christy. Right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> to work. There, that takes care of some of your stacks. Okay. I should have Cassie do the breaking, though. Damn it, I wish the scholars had better buffing type skills. What's a revelation? It's my turn now. It's a bunch of random junk. Okay. Okay, now someone needs to get buffed here as well. Which we'll will be able to maintain her buff for her next turn's big break. Hmm. <laughs> Lion dance. Well now. Then knife you twice. To work. Repent. Say your prayer. Okay, lightning blast. Strike them down. Now then. As set for next turn, I, I doubt they're going to survive Ochet's attack, but just in case, I am going to use a sh uh, use like Shackle Foe just to set up the uh, drastic measures. Uh, settle down now. Uh, right. Uh, I'm starving. All right, beastly fangs. That's my cool. I'm dead. I'm hungry. He's got a sleeping spear. High Priest Amulet. I could use that. Okay, let's turn this in and get the second license. Okay, I actually forgot to bribe the minstrel from uh, Cropdale. Wandering bar traveling in the leaf lands, or so he claims. He's actually an agent of the kingdom of Timberane, charged with finding out what the people really have to say and reporting it to the king. He may dress like a dandy, but he is not to be underestimated. Okay, there's a 3% chance to get a mini boss in an optional dungeon to spawn as a random encounter. So you can actually capture them and get perfect jerky out of them, too. Can't take it long anymore, beast, so now I have to kick one out. 
has a, a pretty rare food item, perfect jerky, but I want to keep at least, uh, it's it's overall better than Horned Howler, so I'm just going to replace the Horned Howler for now, and maybe capture another Monarch if I really need that perfect jerky again. Time to shine. Yeah, I don't think that's going to get power crept for a long while. Whatever. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, you can only capture them as rematches, not on your first encounter, sadly. Yeah, it's not like Epic Battle Fantasy V, which does let you capture them on your first encounter. I can't believe I missed this NPC, the innkeeper, a young woman who works at the inn. She once dreamed of traveling to the eastern continent, but decided to take over the family inn instead after her mother died, leaving just her and her fire. Her cooking is also becoming a local attraction in its own right. Discount the inn. Alright, go down this ladder. Lair of the Usurper. Will there be a boss here that I have to capture? Ball of Sleeping Dust. Thunder Mace. Olive of Life. Grail of Life. 6500. What? What are treasure shield? Empowering Light Chi. Yeah, apparently there's nothing else in this dungeon. It's kind of a letdown considering it has such a, a, a an ominous name. Okay, this is near the abandoned village area. Ben Waterway. Level 20. Should be within my limits. Wriggling Root. Herb Elixir. Wriggling Root. 8,000. Antidote Stone. Wriggling Root. This is willing to back down, I see. Oh no! All right. Yeah, this one's gonna be very annoying to deal with. Okay, she's back. I have a talent for making do. Hmm. The diffuse strengthening. And then race physical attack as well. Time for your medicine. You have my face, Christy. Here we go. No point trying to capture you. So I'm just gonna use beastly fangs. That's my quarry. Time to shine. Yeah. This is what it means to be a star. We won't want to miss this. So peacock strut on everyone. Why not? Okay, Radiance. Feel the sacred how it's done. That was pretty quick. Is not can actually, it can actually eat up to two people, so that's very inconvenient. It's going to be even more inconvenient to try to capture the damn thing. Now it's a random encounter. Frost Axe. 
Somehow I encountered this as the first encounter upon re-entering the dungeon. That's pretty lucky. Spose synthesis restores SP. I mean, honestly, I think Cassidy is better for that kind of role. I think I'm just... It looks pretty strong, but... Man, I feel like I should just... I might as well eat this one. Even though it's rank 7, I, I, I feel like the skill it, the, attached to it is not that great. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can always recapture it if I need to. Give me that perfect jerky. Now let's grab some food. Maybe someday I can use that to recruit someone really strong. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Octopath Traveler 2. If you enjoyed, please hit a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.